Good morning, guys. It's my last day of school ever. I missed that last part. What did you say? Can I just have a venti vanilla soup cream cold brew, but instead of vanilla peppermint? Yes. So I thought you said, but I don't know why I just assumed. Sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Anyways, today is my last day of school ever. I've already submitted all my assignments and my school's online, so it's not like I have to go to anything. But it's my last day of school ever for my last class, well, ever, obviously ever. I'm a college grad, basically is what we're getting at. So, oh, wow, it doesn't really feel much different, I will say. But knowing that I never have to do another discussion board post ever again is going to be absolutely crazy. I, I'm just excited because, like, I... Obviously school is like very time-consuming you guys maybe didn't see that because I didn't really vlog myself doing school because obviously boring but just having that done and off my plate in uh, Wow, I'm just great for those who are probably gonna ask I got my bachelor's in business administration I'm not an administrative person. So it wasn't the major for me, but it was the it's like with how my credits lined up It's like how I would be able to graduate on time. So I just did it and now here I am college grad so today is a really chill day i'm just starting off my morning oh my gosh perfect sorry <laughs> thank you have a good day like i was saying um i didn't vlog myself doing school work much because that's like boring i feel like i don't know also school is just like not fun actually that's not true i actually really did like my college experience i can do a video kind of recapping it now because i have a hybrid of a lot of different experiences throughout my college like career but i'm glad that i did it i don't think college is for everyone so i'm not really one of those people who's like oh my god i have to have a degree i am really grateful to have been able to get an education and it really mattered to my dad and you have to make your dad proud it also mattered to me but it's just not something that i think I absolutely needed to have kind of thing but I'm really glad that I did do it and um, was able to get an education so I'm going home I'm gonna log in to class for the heck of it even though I'm already done look around see what's going on there and then after that I have a recording with Jamie Kern Lima who's legit probably my favorite human being and I I just absolutely adore her. She was the founder of It Cosmetics. They sold it to L'Oreal for $1.2 billion. Um, she's very successful. She's really into her faith, all that stuff. So I just love her. Then I'm getting lunch with my dad and then I think my mom is coming to Dallas and staying with me. You guys who watch my vlogs religiously are gonna be so annoyed that I'm even saying this, but I have been getting a lot of questions on what my Starbucks order is. So this is my like Christmas order, okay? It is the vanilla sweet cream cold brew sub peppermint for vanilla or you can screenshot this i think it's in focus but it is just absolutely incredible i so basically if they ask that's no vanilla and instead of vanilla you want peppermint they'll ask like a lot of different ways and i have to make sure you guys are prepared you know it's just the absolute best drink anyways i had to treat myself i was supposed to get coffee i was supposed to go to my dad's house for coffee this morning because that was like our school thing growing up was always which i don't think he knows that's why i wanted to go but we would always have coffee before school every morning and he has like a lot of big meetings so we're doing lunch which is fine and i still go to my dad's to get coffee all the time and drink coffee with him so it's really not even a school thing i don't know this lady's running and it's 30 degrees outside she's so brave it's just not me remember when i was a runner guys over the summer should i go back to that i feel like that was maybe a good thing that i was doing maybe i'll go to north park today i think i could do some lush products I haven't gotten any Christmas slush products. I'm afraid to do a bath bomb because I just got my bathroom cleaned. But it's Christmas. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be at this desk for the next few clips. I'm sorry. I kind of hate vlogging here. I don't know. Anyways, I just did my Devo, my Joyce Meyer middle-aged devotion. I'll have it linked down below. I'm excited. The one I'm going to start when I'm done with this, which, ooh, sorry, will probably be in... Honestly, maybe I'll perfectly time it to 2021. One of my favorite books, Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. Um, this is the devotion book, so it's like a day-by-day -day thing. And I like it even more because I feel like there's maybe like a... Oh yeah, I like the question at the end of it. I don't know. I think this is going to be good for me. My chocolate brown Bible, my favorite color. It was prophetic, really. Okay, so I'm going to watch 
some videos and then I'm going to curl my hair and get ready for the day and then I'm going to do some more episode prep um, update I spilled my coffee on my favorite chair and I cleaned it and I think Coco looked it up so if she's jumping around today we know why comment below how long you like every single vlog to be do we want 30 minutes do we want 10 do we want I mean we probably can't do 45 not gonna lie but like 30 35 Comment below and please let me know. I'm going to log in to Brightspace, which is like Canvas, for the last time, hopefully ever. I don't have an assignment to turn in because I already did that, but just checking in, seeing what's up. What if I like came on here and thought I realized I had like 15 more assignments? I mean, there's like nothing for me to do on here. <gasps> no, my grade is in, I'm done. I was waiting for a grade and now I'm officially done. I'm done with school forever, but like knowing me, who knows? I am done. I am so happy. It's really been a wild time. I was also thinking about that this morning when I was doing my Devo, and I'm actually just so grateful for my college experience and like where I ended up going, and I would have never originally picked it for myself, but it's one of those things where it's like, I see, like I'm glad that I like did what I felt God was calling me to do kind of thing because it was so much better than what I could have ever imagined. But I'm done forever. I'm not gonna close my laptop because I have to work, but I'm so grateful and we are done. I'm about to be recording with Jamie and I am so excited. This is her new book that doesn't come out until February. She gave me an advanced copy, which is like when I, you know, I peaked in life at that point. I read it in one hair appointment. I have a lot of hair, but I read it in one hair appointment and I'm getting so many notifications on my computer. And I cried. It was so good. I'm hitting everything right now. Guys, I saw an article too that was Dolly Parton's like daily routine. It didn't give that much detail besides the fact that she wakes up at 3 a.m. And it made me want to film a video of me doing Dolly Parton's like daily routine. So let me know if you guys want to see that because I really might. Hello, hello. That's too loud. Hello, hello. Just finished the recording. It was as incredible, probably more incredible than I even imagined it to be. Um, Jamie Kern Lima is one of the most incredible human beings ever. I got to record with her earlier this year and like every single time I talk to her she just says exactly what I need to hear and she did that again today and I just love her, adore her, so excited. Anyways, I'm going over to my dad's house right now to eat lunch. It is currently 3 p.m. I just finished lunch. My mom is gonna come over in an hour, I think like two hours actually. And so I am treating myself to an afternoon at North Park because I'm a college grad. And that's what Kinsey as a college graduate does. She still wears Uggs and she still goes to North Park. I met my mom at the Nordstrom Bistro Bar. We got drinks. It's so gloomy out, so I couldn't take a cute grad pic at all. Guys, I told you, everyone in my family wants the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Yeah, I had 3.5. 3.5 is my shade. This is the best stuff ever, guys. I'm not, it's like incredible. Okay, I'm gonna try out a few different things from them. I was gonna get a different lip color thing, or I was gonna get a lip gloss, but they were out. And then my mom swears that this inky hyaluronic acid is better than the ordinary. Same price point, so I'm also getting this so I can try it. Okay, trip number two to Sephora, done. Back at Anthropology, who's surprised? Mom, I literally vlog here probably like twice a day at this point. Italy is here. This is my favorite part of Anthropology. I almost got this because I know I really wanted it, but I didn't get it. I got that thing because remember when I said I needed things to take place things to? But see, so yeah, that's where I got this from. The things that Sophie and I use and my mitts right there. When I brought that for me and Sophie. Oh, I know. Mom, I need this because it says 11 Piper's Piping. Look, see, that's so fun. I want a big house so that I can have different plates. Yes. Oh, you should get that for that. Oh, uh, that's so smart. Yeah. Because think about I'll it. Order Coming out there with all of you. Yes, three, this is so smart. Genius. Well, how many is there really? Is there six like kids? Ten, there? Eight of us, nine of us? I don't know, there's so many people. The co number one comment on my videos are, I'm so confused by your family dream. <laughs> yeah, 
Guys, we're gonna get Balenciaga in North Park. <laughs> Best mall in the world. My hair is such a mess right now, but I'm gonna do a haul. Um, okay, from both of my Sephora trips today, you know when your skin just feels so dry and you're just like not really fully like awake and my hair looks like this? That's been today. But I wanted to do a little bit of a haul for you guys. So I'll start off with, I almost said Starbucks. I'll start off with Sephora. Um, the first thing I got was this Lancome Juicy Tube. I actually never had one of these, but I know everyone's like so happy that they brought them back. I, never, I don't remember them growing up. I don't know, and my mom, when I said it to her, didn't really remember them. So maybe we just didn't have them, but everyone has been talking. I'm bringing it back to old school YouTube, guys. Yeah, it feels really good in there. Okay. Oh, you haven't seen since the chair? I have this dewy set setting spray that I saw at checkout and I just grabbed because I love dewy skin. And I just thought it would be good to try. I also got this Bite Plumping Lip Gloss. I've already tried it and I don't feel like it plumped my lips at all, but I don't know, I didn't look and maybe, maybe it did. The thing about this though, I think the color is really pretty. The applicator, like, is that not so weird? Do you see it, guys? If any of you guys have had this, let me know what you thought about it. Oh. Whoa, did not picture this. Oh, it feels really good on your skin. I was losing your mind today. I got another Summer Fridays lip balm because I was out. I wanted to try more Kosas stuff because, you know, I love the face oil. So I got the mascara. This is the mascara. I'll let you guys know. I'll do a first impressions tomorrow with it. And then I needed a new concealer. I'm more of a drugstore concealer sort of gal. It looks way paler. I got a three because I felt I'm a 3.5 and I wanted it a little bit lighter. I don't know. Moving on to Lush. Trying to get Fitz to pay attention so he'll leave me alone. I got one, I got this little lightning bath bomb and then a little winter bath bomb. I don't want it to ruin my newly cleaned, oh, I forgot to mention this. Sorry, the inky hyaluronic acid. I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown again, first impressions tomorrow on if I like this better than the ordinary. My mom likes it better than the ordinary. This Argan, Rose Argan body conditioner, my sister showed me forever ago and I was obsessed with it. I think it was a shower gel that I used maybe or something. I don't know, it smells so good. It's a lotion or a body conditioner and I need this right now with the winter of having really dry skin. This is one of my favorite face masks ever. It's the classic like green face mask. I'll show you. It smells so good. Guys, I really threw it back with this OG cookie dough lip scrub. Like, look at this right now. I want to do the bubble gum, but I wanted to try a new one. Anyways, I needed a lip scrub, winter things. This is what I'm trying, this is new. It's the Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. Sophisticated jasmine scented powder with moisturizing cocoa butter to leave skin soft, smooth, and sexy. So you sprinkle all over your skin. It's so weird, but it's like a powder. So I'm interested to check this out. Again, first impressions tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna bring this all up to my room so I remember that I need to give you guys reviews on all of these products. But yeah, I got a few things, I'm excited. This is literally the best thing if you get anything, get the Summer Fridays lip balm, it's my fave. And yeah, I'm excited to try like all the Kosa stuff. I feel like this is gonna be my new favorite makeup brand, honestly. So update, I tried the Hyaluronic Acid, ignore my dogs playing in the background. I like it, I think it's just comparable. I don't think it's like that much better than the ordinary. But I also put on, okay, question guys. I put on the Truth Serum and I, since I started using the Sunday Riley one that's like so ridiculously expensive and I got in the Sephora sale and I just like cannot bring myself to buy a full price again. That was um, an oil so it was like way more moisturizing, you know? But like when I use this I feel like it leaves my skin dry. This vitamin C. Oh that's, yeah, that's and I used to love this stuff. and I still do really like it. I don't know if I'm using it with the wrong product, like, but that used to be like the biggest holy grail for me and I just don't remember it doing it. Okay, here's a vitamin C that was sold out at Sephora. It, it you said it's like always sold out, right? It feels like a, um, oh, uh, it feels like a silicone primer. Oh, see, I'm into that though. Yeah. I like, but I feel like it tingles, like it can kind of almost burn. Like, oh, I don't think I put enough on because I can't, I don't have. Like there's sometimes that I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I love that tingling. No, look, when I say they're losing their minds, guys, I mean, <laughs> this is how they play. This is how they have to play, guys. Has anyone noticed how much bigger Fitz has gotten in the past few days or is it just me? Oh, are you guys caught? Okay. My room feels amazing. Yes, I'm still waiting for my comforter to dry. I just haven't brought it upstairs. Um, also, I got these. 
I don't know. I just felt like having them. That is it for today's Vlogmas vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm a college grad now, um, but I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you 